Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I have a very interesting tool for you guys. And in this video I will talk about that how you can actually mirror your Android mobile phone screen to a laptop or PC with a very small software and the software is free and open source of course, 100% free. And with that software you can easily mirror your Android screen to your PC. And also you can control your Android mobile phone with mouse and keyboard of the laptop or PC. The software I'm talking about here is Screen Copy, S-C-R-C-P-Y. This Screen Copy is a very small tool and it is basically a command line tool but to use it, it's very easy to use. So this video will be very very interesting and very useful to you. So without further delay, let's jump into our main topic and meanwhile you do one thing, hit the like button, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos. So without further delay, let's jump into our main topic. Now first of all, I will show you guys that from where you can download the screen copy software. For that, you can search SCRCPY and hit enter so you can see this is uh, the github page so you just click here and you can see in the github page you can see uh, the detail about the screen copy current version is 1.24 and you can uh, read uh, some information about this that uh, this software is uh, focused on these things lightness performance quality okay and all that you can read by pausing the video and its features also including you can record you can mirror your android screen you can copy pasting the directories okay configurable quality and uh, you can uh, use the waste webcam for linux only and you can uh, use the physical keyboard and mouse of the computer to control the android device okay and you can see these are some uh, requirements and uh, these are some instructions of installation so in linux it is very easy to install it is already in your repository for debian based systems uh, you just uh, uh, do sudo apt install uh, scrcpy so it will be installed in uh, one command okay for arch linux you use the pacman so pacman is screen copy and snap package is also available for ubuntu and in fedora okay you can you can see this right and and other instruction you can see here and also in windows uh, one zip file is there okay and you have to download the zip file right and in the mac os x uh, you have to just uh, 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 type the command uh, brew install screen copy and you can also um, see all the things uh, how to do in the mac os x now you can see here basically in this area you can see 27 releases so here you can just go to releases and here you can see uh, the change log of the current version okay a uh, lot of bug fixes and upgrades are there you can see that right so that's very very uh, interesting and going project ongoing project and android uh, 13 it is uh, going on okay and you can see an otg support for windows 32 bits okay and here uh, are the uh, all uh, versions you can see okay so these are the screen copy server these are source code and all that you can see here basically and for the windows for windows operating system you need to install this okay if you are using the 64 bit operating system you download win 64 if you have 32 bit system so win 32 okay so i'm going to the 64 bit system and you can see you uh, it is start downloading so 34 mb of size this is okay so i have already downloaded the file okay and let's see uh, how you can use this now after downloading the uh, installer now i will show you that how you can use it now the fact is that you don't need any internet connection uh, to mirror your android device this is the most powerful thing uh, of this software okay so I'm just uh, using the uh, Windows 11 machine you can see and here you can see uh, this is the downloaded file okay so this is a, a compressed file okay so uh, first of all I have to uh, extract this so you first install the RAR okay so RAR must be installed in your system WinRAR and then just right click and WinRAR and then extract here okay so 
whatever thing i am just uh, replacing and yes to all okay so actually a recommended thing is you first uh, create a folder separate folder and then inside that you put the uh, zip file okay and then you extract okay and you can see uh, these are the extracted files and here you can see this this is the main uh, application uh, screen copy right so i'm just uh, now connecting the phone through my usb cable i'm just inserting it all right so you can see i have inserted this and this is d zone this is my phone now actually uh, before connecting your mobile phone you must enable the uh, developer option okay i'm just uh, showing you in a moment that how you can enable the developer option in the uh, android device okay and you have to enable the usb debugging from the developer options okay and after that you have to connect the mobile phone uh, with the usb cable and uh, then uh, just uh, double click here see screen copy and you can see it is starting okay and you can see this is very nice uh, <laughs> this is very nice screen of my mobile phone you can see talking about the picture quality now uh, the picture quality actually uh, this is uh, support uh, full hd picture quality okay so very clear picture you will get and also good uh, responsiveness uh, you will feel and uh, now uh, you can see now now i'm just showing you guys that from uh, how you can enable uh, the usb debugging okay so for, for that uh, currently i'm using uh, my samsung phone and i'm just going to settings and here you first of all uh, you have to go about phone and here uh, in the software information you can see and you will get a built number okay okay so build number you can see you can see this is the uh, build number right you can see this is the build number and you have to tap seven times to enable the developer options okay so you have to tap just seven times okay so and uh, and then a developer option will be uh, turned on and then you can uh, go back and uh, going to the settings and then you will find this developer option you can see so you will find the developer option and here basically you will see usb debugging so you can see here uh, usb debugging this must be on to uh, to do all the things okay uh, to mirror your android skin screen uh, this usb debugging must be turned on and also now screen copy software is uh, actually available for the wireless connection so uh, wireless connection you can also do and in that case wireless debugging must be turned on but the best way i think is uh, to use the uh, usb cable now you can see i am just moving my cursor okay through my touchpad so it is uh, perfectly working and suppose uh, i just uh, want to click uh, something so i'm just clicking here so you can see uh, the phone can be totally controlled uh, through uh, the touchpad or mouse you can see and uh, i'm just opening the chrome browser you can see and i can i can uh, i can type anything okay anything i want i can i can just uh, type okay so my keyboard is perfectly working and also you you can you can drag drag the thing so just uh, double click and drag and here so you can see all the all the options uh, here right so you can you can see so all the things you can do basically with mouse and touchpad and uh, keyboard okay and also the back buttons you can see this is the back button <laughs> all things are working perfectly so you can con uh, totally control your android device in this video i will also uh, show you guys that how you can use this in linux and also uh, what are the instructions uh, to use it wirelessly that means uh, without uh, the uh, usb cable okay so just watch the full video all right so you can see uh, this is my pop os uh, desktop okay and uh, actually uh, uh, this method i am talking about is valid for any linux distribution so first of all i will connect uh, my phone through the usb cable okay so i have connected uh, my phone you can see and uh, i am allowing the data transfer uh, in my phone all right and now uh, basically how you can install uh, the screen copy software here so you have to type sudo 
apt install and screen copy s c r c p y okay uh, this command is valid for any debian or ubuntu based uh, distributions and you can see a uh, screen copy is already installed okay now how you can uh, run this so uh, to run this it's very easy really very easy you have to just type scrcpy that's it and hit enter and you can see <laughs> this is on okay so you can see this is my phone the samsung phone and whatever control uh, i have shown in the windows system so all things you can do uh, in the linux system also it is possible to record the screen while mirroring so you have to just uh, type this screen copy uh, hyphen hyphen record and then file name dot mp4 and uh, this is actually so this command uh, you can use uh, for the recording and now basically you can also connect the uh, android device wirelessly okay so no usb cable is needed actually screen copy uses adb to communicate um, uh, to the android mobile phone and uh, what you have to do basically uh, basically you have to connect your phone and your laptop uh, with the same wi-fi connection so if you have a router in your home so you can basically connect um, your laptop and phone uh, to the same wi-fi network and uh, then uh, you have to know that uh, what is your uh, mobile phone ip address so you can uh, basically uh, check that uh, uh, by going uh, uh, some status in the about phone section go to settings and go to about phone and here you can see the status information so from here you can actually get the ip address here the ip address is written and with the help of that ip address you can uh, connect the phone wirelessly so you can see uh, you have to type just just command uh, screen copy hyphen hyphen uh, tcp ip equal to and then ip address of your phone and also the port number okay default port is 5555 now this is in the portrait mode and when i rotate the screen so you can see you can actually watch you can actually watch uh, different things and basically you can watch uh, the videos in the big screen that's that's very cool thing right so you just uh, go to the full screen mode and uh, basically you can uh, play any video and you can see uh, this is uh, one of my video in the youtube and you can uh, actually watch in the full screen mode so if you uh, have any uh, app uh, some streaming app or whatever and uh, you want to watch it in the uh, laptop so you can basically watch with this method so that's very very cool okay so that's all for today's video so if you like this software screen copy and if it is useful to you then definitely hit the like button and also share this to your friends okay and uh, uh, subscribe my channel of course and hit the notification bell icon so that you will get the notification of my future videos okay and also check my other videos lot of interesting videos are there okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye